So you've unfortunately found a wet patch in your van somewhere uh, and you're wondering uh, where to start with, with dealing with this. Um, so the first thing to do really is to, wherever your wet patch is, just try and find kind of the extent of it. So say we've got it, I don't know, up in this corner, you can just start to, to press with your thumb and try and feel for any uh, any spongy wood because at the end of the day this is just wood uh, so when it gets wet it will go spongy so you're feeling for any spongy wood and kind of trying to start feeling the extents of, of where this wet patch is and then uh, the, the, the other thing you can do is, is buy yourself a, a damp tester which I really recommend doing and you can get non-invasive and invasive damp testers. Basically, invasive damp testers will put a couple of little holes into your wall everywhere that you test them, but they'll give you a more accurate result. Non-invasive are less accurate, but you just place them onto the wall and it will give you a reading, a percentage reading of how much moisture is in that wood there. They're really, really useful uh, products and they're pretty cheap. 20, 25 quid, I think, off Amazon. I'll put a link in below. Uh, to show you which ones that I've bought, I've got both of them. Uh, and then what you can do is just is just move it around the wall, and start getting your damp readings, and that'll give you a really good kind of map of where it's wet. Even if you can't see it or feel it, it might have elevated levels of of, of, of moisture under there, and that'll give you a kind of uh, a feeling for okay, where is this where is this water coming in? It'll give you a general idea. And then the other thing I find useful is if you get an outline drawing the side of your van, you can draw it yourself, just draw the general shape and draw on where the windows are and any kind of um, locker doors or anything that goes through the side of the van. And then put an X wherever you find uh, a reading above maybe um, 15 or 20% 20, 20 I would say, uh, put, put an X. And then that will give you a really good picture on a, um, you know, visually of where your damp is coming in. And you can often, when you do that, you'll you'll look at the picture and go, ah, okay, I'll get, I'll get a good feeling of where that's coming in. And that's when you then need to head outside. All right, so here we are on the outside of the motorhome. And like, uh, like most old motorhomes of this vintage, yeah, it's basically a piece of, you know, you know what uh, and I only say that because basically these things do leak if you've bought one okay you're gonna have to maintain it um, pretty much constantly to make sure that all the sealants are still sealing in all of these different places so that it doesn't leak because sealant does ex expire all right so brief description of how this uh, this old box goes together so you see the the whole side panel there that's an aluminium side panel okay and what people don't realize is that that is connected to the back panel and the roof panel in terms of um, waterproofing and sealing via this what they call this the rail okay and this wraps around wraps around from the side panel to the back panel and does the same along the top and it goes right from from the back all the way over to the front of the van and that is a, a, a place where water definitely gets in um, this is sealed down usually with um, non-setting mastic uh, and screwed through under here just screwed through into the wood the timber battens behind there which kind of holds it all together okay so that's your first place to, to look and what you're looking for is is kind of gaps you can see gaps um, sometimes you just need to take the whole rail off clean it up and go for a complete reseal the next area to look at is your windows look for um, any points where it looks like the, the body and the frame of the window there's a gap in between um, that's another point that often goes 
anything like this um, hookup inlet here. Water can get through here. The, the water filler, water can get through here. Basically anywhere where something punches through the body, the gas locker, water could get through the outer frame here. Another ridiculous place where water comes in is under here there's a hole through the body where the wire goes through and if this is cracked water will just go in and straight through the hole there. Another thing to think about is that once water has got in to the van um, the aluminium can start to corrode and you get little tiny pinholes that you can't really see but then water goes in through the pinholes and the only way you can find those and seal them is by removing inside everything, sealing it inside and then putting everything back together. Um, side skirts, it seems ridiculous but uh, these are actually form part of the, the sealing process. You've got another rubber herzim strip here with screws under that the side skirt attaches to the van with and uh, the, the bottom of the kind of structure is around about here of the structure of the side and bottom of the van screws into timber here um, so if you've got water running down behind here and getting in through the screw holes into the timber that will rot the structural support that runs all the way the length of the van.